Big welcome to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are back with uh, one more video with Sparkles. Yes. So we are doing another Bermuda Triangle Standard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we already did Revere. Yeah. And we told you it was a long ass deck profile where we talked a lot about how good the deck is and yeah. when Pushy Road went a little bit wrong with some things and some others, and a deck being strong but not OP and blah blah blah. Yeah. Today we actually wanted to do one more deck profile for you guys, and it was Coral or Pacifica. Yeah. Pacifica stayed home. Yeah, because I for took, some reason I took a deck box with me. Yes, and then I opened it yes. and I put out the last card, and it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, for some reason Novel is sitting in a pink deck box, and for some other reason, Sparkles has a Kagero deck, and uh, yeah, so they've seen it. I know they've seen it. It's they called Sparkle it. Lord. <laughs> Sparkle Lord. <laughs> Okay, so we will do Coral. If yeah. you're interested to see the deck profile on Pacifica or on Riviera, those will also be on our channel. Check that in the links below. If Pacifica is coming soon, then it will come soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, with Pacifica, we will do two videos because we have two players in our team that play her. Yeah. Uh, Critical Girl and of course Sparkles. So we will do two deck profiles. The one is a little bit simpler than the other and also more of a budget let's say as maybe Caro being a little bit more expensive and uh, the other being with uh, more SVRs and stuff yeah because it sparkles <laughs> and we're gonna <laughs> max out this shit <laughs> okay <see>? so <laughs> oh yeah okay let's go into Coral <laughs> starter and, <of> darkness. <laughs> <laughs> and we will also do premium but for premium actually we were waiting to see the ban list yeah, because there is a big chance that Riviera could be on the ban list for premium. Yeah. Not for standard, but for premium. Uh, for me, they don't really have to be in there. Yeah. Let's just get rid of gold a little bit. Please. And if you're a gold fan, I'm a little bit sorry, but being a deck that tops like in the top eight, sitting like six times in the top eight is just a little bit too much. So mm, they That's to, OP. Yeah, they need to do something about it. I mean, the ban before or the... They did something before to the deck, like with the start and with the grid 2, and it didn't really work that much, so now they have to take a different approach, maybe. Yeah. Alright, let's get into this deck. Yeah. It is one of the decks that I don't really know much about, and that's why we have Sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we will tell you after the video, uh, or Sparkles will tell you after the video, his thoughts about the deck and where he would place this deck in his favorite or least favorite decks. Yeah. All right, great threes. Yeah, I'm gonna start simple with a coral. Of course, needs to be shiny. <laughs> well, of course, but with the case, I got every SVR. Mm -hmm. And last week, I brought two more boxes, mm -hmm. and a second one came <laughs> out of it. <laughs> you did the opening on a coral playmat. What did you expect? From another... I did not expect. <laughs> I was opening a box on the playmat you get from the sneak. Mm -hmm. I pulled the grade 1, the grade 2, and the SVR grade 3. <laughs> I was like, oh damn, that happened. It's a coral box! <laughs> <laughs> that was my first thought. <laughs> it was mm. a coral box. Well, it's just quite simple. Um, I especially uh, find the first skill very interesting. If you have Soul Blast 4 uh, cards of total in the turn, all units with Coral get Kere crit plus two. Yeah, yeah plus two, it, the crit becomes two. Mm -hmm. So force two is not optional in this deck. No, you're actually combining force one and force two just by playing her first ability. Yeah, and the thing she does best is just power creep. Power, power, power creep. Mm -hmm. Also in premium and stuff, uh, with G era stuff, always gets plus so many for every coral in the soul. Mm -hmm. It always powers up, and yeah. The coral was always like this, and it's yeah. not one of Sparkle's favorite deck, uh, yeah. let's say, play styles, but it's really nice to have her in there because it's refreshing to switch between the one deck and the other. Yeah. Although we have a lot of question marks of the abilities and like the art and... <laughs> yeah, we were just discussing that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Especially the great one. <laughs> yep. Okay, no. Support grade three. Support grade three. The searcher. When placed on Vanguard, you can search the grade three from your deck. Mm -hmm. uh, I find the second skill very interesting. Uh, it's continuous. If my Vanguard with Coral attacks, you have to guard with grade zeros. Only grade zeros. Only grade zeros. <clears throat> That's definitely interesting, yes. Also, the fun thing is if you put her behind the Vanguard, and then have two more copies of her in the front row. Mm -hmm. You also need to guard with great zeros. And because it counts not for the Vanguard, but no. for that specific card. It's during the battle your um, Aurora Star Coral attacks. Now, and if it's she's very on effective, the rear guards, yeah, you still yeah. need to guard with great zeros. She does not have a rear guard skill, but she could just attack. Yeah, Coral also just has two Vanguard skills, and she has a Vanguard and rear guard skill. All right. Okay. Yeah. Simple as that. Are there other, other grade threes that you could tag in this deck? Mm. Or maybe grade fours or something? Yeah, maybe one grade four again. Mm. But yeah. You, you could can... kind of tag her in, in every deck if you want to. Yeah, and also with Coral, you can still search your Corals. Yeah. From but... the rear guard and drop zone. Yeah. Right, great use. Great twos. One of the great twos that is being tagged in a lot of different decks, being a good soul charge engine, is of course the Coral Great Two. Yeah. This is the deck that you could get the full benefit from her, which is a powerhouse again. Yeah. So this deck has no multi attacking option, right? No, actually, no. It's, it's just getting power and crits. Just attack, attack, attack. That's yeah. it. And with all power. Kicking your opponent to four and then. Basically, you have to guard everything. Yeah. Again, with the Soul Charge, you always will have a Coral Vanguard, so you basically Soul Charge 2 every time. Yeah. And then her second skill is Soul Blast 2, once a turn, which is good, or else it will be stacking. Yep. Which is great. <laughs> <laughs> you get plus 10k, and if you have a Coral Vanguard, you get 5k extra, so it's a solid 25. Yep. Which is a lot. Yeah. Well, that's Coral, great too. Then the counter charger. Uh, let's see, you get plus 2k for every face down card in your damage zone. It's mm -hmm. also continuous. So if you have a full face down damage zone, it's plus 10k actually. And it works on both turns, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So that's also important. And if she hits a Vanguard, you can Soul Blast uh, as many cards if you want. And for every two soul, uh, soul blasted cards you soul blast, you can counter charge one. Yeah. Definitely a very interesting card. Yeah. Red, next. Then, of course, simple as that. <laughs> Garo. <laughs> I'm not gonna play, explain it again. No. Soul blast two, copy paste. <laughs> Yo. You're like, yay, I'm the Vanguard. <laughs> you place me. Oh, another one. <laughs> <laughs> And she's good for the Soul Blast. Yeah. Because you need the Soul Blast in this deck. She kind of made for this deck. Just just because you Soul Charge that much and you want the Soul Blast 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 until yeah. you get to 4 and then oh, skills goes off. Yeah. It's actually all uh, also the thing that was in Riviere. You can still change up the line. Yeah, you can still change the lineup. Mm -hmm. Like putting more in of her or one of her extra in because of the last grade 2. Actually, never, never use her. Uh, it's also the same that you have to, uh, let's see, have to call two or more cards from hand for a counter blast, and you ah. need to have a Vanguard with Coral. And that works for your, for her or for the Vanguard? Uh, let's see. I don't know that card that much. <laughs> don't play this deck too much. Uh, let's see when your opponent would call. Uh, no, it's the whole turn. Oh dang. Read? Okay, yeah. let's read it together. When placed, if you have a finger with Coraline's card name, count to plus one until the end of turn when your opponent would call cards from their hand, she or he must call two at the same Just time. Just a line after the counter bless yeah. until the end of the turn. So definitely a very important card to have in the deck, but one of the things that I like a lot about this card is the art. Uh, this yeah, is one, it's cute. <laughs> yeah, but this is one of the few cards in this set that has like that different coloring on it. 
because the theme was kind of blue, snow, and that yeah. sort of stuff. And this was like it fits. Yeah, it's it's nice. It makes me think about uh, the movie from Disney, Mulan, if you know it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Those were the great twos. Now we have the uh, strange great one. Oh shut up! <laughs> it is a great. It's it's really creepy. Well, the great one. <laughs> it's just weird. That's why I don't love it. It's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the, art, uh, the art is so weird. I did see this card being tracked in different decks. Yeah, in Pacifica. Yeah, even there. But it's actually just for the Soul Charge. Yeah, it's the same if they don't have like the space in the Grade 2 lineup, they yeah. put her in as for the Grade 1. Um, most of these Scoral cards just have the ability to give you the extra Soul for your uh, Soul Blasting abilities. And I think this could also be very interesting in premium because coral in premium could also be very effective. Yeah. And uh, especially if they hit uh, Revere, then I think maybe people will try to build more coral than Revere. Yeah. Because Revere now is the stronger in standard and actually in premium. Yeah, but based on just the power creep. Yeah. That's the only thing actually. That makes her better, you mean? Or? Yeah, for power wise. Yeah, it's just that's the but only I, thing. But also, Coral has better strikes, right, than Revere. Yeah, Revere has one strike. Yeah, just one. Yeah, which is cool. Coral was <laughs> always good in the G era. Yeah, so now it has a little bit more support. I do think that they could remake this deck to be even stronger. Yeah, but people being less uh, creative uh, now with decks because when they see a deck top, they try to play that deck, and if that deck works for them, then they keep it that way. No. I still think that people need to be more creative with their decks. Yeah, and just keep their own personal touches yeah, on the decks. At least change some cards in it. Yeah. Okay, let's continue with well, the great one. Yes. Just very simple, Aurora. Yep. Still very good, very effective. Drawn ditch. Gets you the right combo pieces to your hand. If yeah. you have space in your grade one lineup, always yeah. put her in. And the thing is, you need to discard a card for her, which is actually not bad in this deck because you can get your corals back. Yeah. yeah. It's the same with the Pacifica, actually. Yeah. With, the, with the grade two. Uh, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna drop one card from my hand, yeah. then draw, then get that card back to my hand. And, would, and then your opponent will be like, uh, what? Wait, what just happened? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then the last grid win yeah. is uh, also power creep. Counter yep. blast, put in the soul, and give one coral plus 15k. Yep. Extra mm. soul charge. Yes. Also. A nice art though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the great one liner. Then we go to Crazy Rose. Mm. We didn't see any drop, uh, any PGs, so no. there will be drop PGs. Yeah. The coral starter. Mm hmm. Right there well. is no right reason to have her in there, right? You don't need her like a uh, regular. Or does the great one need yeah, her? Yeah, let me check. Uh, no, it has to be for the great one. Ah, okay. When place, if you have a soul, uh, if your soul has a card with coral. Okay. Yeah, you basically want to ride her, of yeah. course. Okay. Then only Pacifica does not have a starter. Yeah. You can okay. choose whatever starter you like. Yep. But if, for example, you play the grade one uh, unit, uh, the grade one coral in your Pacifica deck, you, then you have to. Yeah. Use then her. you you need to add her in there. Yeah. I mean, you could even. No, you you would not do that. <laughs> I was trying to say you could even run the Revere, um, let's say grade one and grade twos in Pacifica, but no, I would not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually try that. <laughs> <laughs> could work. I okay. would not totally not be surprised by that actually. Nope. So we could kind of call this uh, standard, I think, like for the four heals, uh, four draw, and then the eight crits. Yeah. Um, yeah, you could change it a little bit by adding more crits, but it's not needed in this deck nope. because your grade three will be like you get a crit and you get a crit and you also get a crit. Yeah. And the thing is. It still three attacks. It will always be three attacks. The same with Spike. It doesn't matter how many markers you have there. By Protect going back into the format. I mean, now we have a format with a lot of Excel plans. Yeah. But when we will see Protect making a comeback, then decks like these with like powerhouses units with 
what the deck does is getting crits and getting power, your opponent will be able to guard it. Yeah. And the nice thing about this deck is, is it has the thing that you need to guard with two cards, it has the yeah, grade it's, three. It has everything. Yeah, it yeah. has some extras in there. And that's also makes this deck interesting because if yeah. you look at Rivier, it does have nothing in there which say you need to guard with two cards or you need to guard with only grade zeros or only with this, or only with that. Yeah. And this deck has that. Yeah. So it's again, very refreshing to switch between decks. Yeah. And now we go to Sparkles, and actually your idea behind this deck and the way they, they made this deck. And what do you think about this? Because you're having three different decks in, yeah. in, in this booster box for Bermuda, and now you could actually create multiple Melody decks, but we'll not talk about that. We'll talk about Melody as being one deck, yeah. and we talk about Highlander as being one deck. Yeah. But where do you place Coral? Uh, far, far down the list. Yeah, yeah. It's um, I. It's not my playstyle. Okay. Yeah. It's it's it, it's good. It's strong. Yeah. But do I want to play? Does it, it feel less Bermuda? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the thing because yeah. when we saw the abilities, Sparkles and me were talking about how good this deck is, and then also talked about where does this deck fits into the Bermuda theme. And yeah. when we have like decks like Melody which also could create huge power lines. Yeah. Um, and then like they work kind of together. Like you have this melody yeah. unit and that melody unit and a car boost and Sonata gives power and this and that. And with that, you create kind of a, uh, a formation with that you attack. Yeah. And with Coral, it's kind of easier. Although Coral always did this. Yeah, it's actually Coral always did this. Like get power, Yeah. get power. Out of nothing. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's the same, but yeah, it's not my place. Now. Maybe because of the reboot that we have seen units come back with the very different abilities. Yeah. That we at least we too expected it to be something different. Yeah. But I think it's it's great the way they made it because for people yeah. that played Coral in the past, they would be very happy to replay this deck. And for people that like Sparkles like to make all the Bermuda decks and play them also. It's also nice to have this, but it's yeah. okay to say it's less of my favorite decks. Like he has, I think if I get that right, you have um, Riviera being your first. Yeah. We're, we're talking standard. Yeah. And then on Riviera the- Riviera is definitely yeah. first. And then we have second place, which is kind of Melody and Pacifica. Yeah, that's true. And yeah, Pacifica is a very, very, very nice deck and also very strong. It's but don't so play too much. fun. Yeah, but don't it's, play too much. Yeah. Because if you could say a deck is kind of brain dead, it's that deck. It's that deck. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay because it's the way the deck is built. Like yeah. people like it that way. Like having them on the field, okay, you, you you get rid of them, they end up in the damage, I get them back. Doesn't matter. Yeah. And with that you continue on playing. Like playing against uh, Angel Feathers, you keep that great too in your hand. You don't use it that often because they could place Pacific on your damage and then you get it back. Play against decks that could retire it, you keep that great too. So you could be like a little bit smart about the way you yeah. play it. But uh, again, it is kind of brain dead. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. And then we have, um, um, so Melody and Pacifica, I think being yeah, both be on, the, on the second place. Yeah. yeah. Although I think that Melody will climb up to second place. Yeah, call. when I updated it and yeah. put in the new stuff and yeah. things like that. Yeah. And then we have uh, the third place, which could be Coral and then... Nah, Highlander. Highlander and then Coral at and then the... And then Coral, and then Coral at the bottom. Yeah. And the, they're both yeah. bo both decks that you would not pick up that fast. I yeah, mean, it's fun to well. have. Yeah. It's I, I'm happy to have those decks, yeah. but it's not my favorite. Yeah. But again, for people who played Coral in the past, and they're just getting in into the format, or they now started to play Standard again, or no. started before, um, get definitely try to get this deck. I think it's not that expensive. No, it's not. No. no so the most expensive is Riviera, actually. Yeah. And yeah. I think that only the the yeah the Grade Three could be, of course, still expensive, but um, the Grade One is not. Oh. The Grade Two, although it is getting tacked in multiple decks, it's still no. not. And um, yeah, you definitely add Caro as well, no. which if you play the normal version, should not be that expensive. <laughs> so, <No>. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely try to get this deck, replay it, because it will just give you that nice 
memory that you no. had from the past because it still does the same thing, but no, no. better. Yeah. yeah. With adding the crits and the and the core. Actually better, yeah. yeah. That's kind of it for this deck profile. Yeah. We'd like to thank you guys for watching and yeah. also let us know what you want to see next. Yeah. Because we have updated Highlander, yeah. we have Melody, which still needs a lot of work because you could create a lot yeah. of different decks. <laughs> Way too much. Oh <laughs> you even have God. the promo grade ones and stuff, like also have Melody. So uh, yeah. you could even make a theme deck, like you can make a Sonata deck or a Karo deck or this or that. There's so much you could do. Yeah. And uh, also while playing, playtesting it, I think you will come across even different um, formations because in the past, like you have not that much uh, units, like there were five with Melody. Uh, and then at the- Five great trees, yeah. Yeah, and then at the grade two promo, which yeah. also had Melody, the 10K, uh, and that was it. That and, was it actually. Yeah. Yeah. And then sometimes, of course, the grade one is on the field that, that searches them and yeah. then you can attack that uh, one in the front row. But that was kind of it. But now you could create way more. You could create shield value. You could take in the the, yeah. the, the great two blue hair uh, thing. Chick. <laughs> <laughs> Chick. <laughs> and, and with that, you could create even more combos. Yeah. Okay. Again, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.